we will go over the top 5 mega yachts that can be found across the world. First on the list, $400 million in Dubai. In 1995, Prince Joffrey Bolkay of Brunei commissioned the ship to be built by Blowman Voss and Larsen. The ruler of the Emirate of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, was meant to take control of the project in 2001 and see it through to its conclusion, but he never did. The length of this boat was 50 feet and its width was 72 feet, making it the largest in the world from 2006 to 2009. It was replaced by a model that was more recent. It contains a swimming pool with a length of 10 meters, a court for playing squash, a movie theater, and enough space on its 8th deck to accommodate 115 passengers and 88 staff members. There is also a disco, a lobster tank, and 20 water bikes in addition to the elegant dining room that seats 90 people. The ship is equipped with four MTU-20V diesel engines, which enable it to go up to 8,500 nautical miles at a time at a maximum speed of 26 knots. Additionally, the ship is equipped with a dock and two long motor boats, all of which enhance convenience. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell to stay updated on our daily videos. Up next, MYA Plus $527 million the wealthy demographic that may be found in the Emirates is the most significant market for super yachts. Monsur bin Zayed Al Nayan is the owner of the English soccer team Manchester City and has an estimated net worth of $22 billion. The royal family of Abu Dhabi is said to own at least half of the most expensive super yachts in the world. He is the Prince of Abu Dhabi and currently serves in the government of the United Arab Emirates as Deputy Prime Minister. Despite its enormous size, the a maintains a service speed of 22.9 knots and has the potential to reach a top speed of approximately 25 knots. It measures 482 feet in length and 70 feet in breadth. The two peel stick engines totaling 7,990 horsepower are the source of the vehicle speed. Although it was only shown to the public in 2012, the yacht a which is formerly known as Topaz, is already the seventh largest in the world. It has a total of 8 decks, an underwater light system, a swimming platform, a pool, 2 helipads, a jacuzzi, an exercise room, a theater, a tender garage, and a gym. In addition, it can accommodate up to 2 helicopters. Sheikh Mansour and other guests are treated to the finest meals and service by the staff and their rooms are guaranteed to impress with their spaciousness and sophisticated decor. The $600 million Azam Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan is the proud owner of this opponent boat. The current ruler of United Arab Emirates is Sheikh Khalifa, who is also a half-brother of the previous ruler, Sheikh Mansour. In addition, he is the president of Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, which is in charge of assets worth around $900 billion and is the most of any other worldwide leader. But I must digress. It is impossible to ignore the allure of Al Nayyan family, particularly when one takes into account their enormous wealth and power. The construction of their yacht, which they claim is the largest private super yacht in the world, set them back $35 million. The entirety of people all around the world, the word Azam, which originates from the Arabic language, translates to resolute in English, which is where the name of the yacht comes from. The forward part meters around 50 meters in length and features a helipad. A master suit and 50 more guest cabins are located on the yacht in addition to its numerous decks and luxurious quarters. The interior was designed by Christopher Leon of Nada Yachts. He was responsible for the design. Unbelievably, Larson and Leon were able to build these yachts in just three years. The yacht that comes in second place on our list for longest length is 57 feet shorter than this one. The $2 billion Eclipse Second position with more than $1.5 billion in revenue. Larsen, the shipbuilding business of which Bloom and Voss is a part, was formerly regarded as being among the very best in the world. The name Bismarck is synonymous with the military vessels constructed by Bloom and Voss and for good reason. The 533-foot Eclipse had been constructed by the company and put into service for six years prior to Larsen purchasing it. This boat held the record for length until the Azam came along in 2013 when it was surpassed. Even now, it is the super yacht with the fourth largest long among all of those in existence. The Eclipse's twin diesel engines each produce over 40,000 horsepower which allows them to together propel the boats at knots. The military pedigree of Bloom and Voss is reflected in the incorporation of a missile detection system as well as a submarine that is capable of diving to depths up to 50 meters. 
However, this vessel's capability extends far beyond simply fending off military assaults. Is there any other means of attack that is more clandestine than having a band of photographers follow you around? A system that prevents digital cameras from functioning properly is installed on board. The device uses infrared lights to identify the presence of a digital camera, after which it uses a laser shield to shine strong light on the camera, rendering any photographs that were taken by the camera worthless. This is the technological equivalent of getting smacked after having a flashlight shine in your eyes by the police. The Eclipse features two helipads, a disco, a dance hall, two swimming pools, and 24 guest cabins. The ship is owned by billionaire Rahman Abramovich, a successful Russian-Israeli businessman. In addition, he is a shareholder in the English soccer team Chelsea, who is now competing for the title of European champion. When they are not competing against one another in the Seven Seas, he and Sheikh Mansour do battle against one another in English Premier League and other European competitions. They each put a significant amount of money into their teams, even to the point where they risk getting in trouble with the law. And the last on the list is History Supreme is $4.8 billion. Bringing in a staggering $4.8 billion is the most money ever earned. When compared to other ships, this one is the smallest and moves the most slowly. It is the only one that is encased in precious metals such as gold, platinum, and other metals, and it's the fewest characteristics. It said that the year 2011 was the year of Stuart Hughes' breakthrough as a successful artist. Hughes was born in Liverpool. When Hughes made the announcement, he did not disclose the identity of the project's owner, however, he did hint that it was the Malaysian billionaire Robert Kwok. He is one of just three Malaysians who have a net worth that is greater than $5 billion and he has a net worth that is just over $10 billion. Because the value of the ship is equivalent to that combined fortunes of the other two Malaysian billionaires, Kwok is the most plausible suspect in this case. The master suit of the yacht is outfitted with a wall made of meteoric stone and a $89,000 sculpture crafted from real dinosaur bones from Arizona. The sculpture depicts a T-Rex dinosaur. As you may be aware, some individuals choose to adorn their homes with stuffed animals and figurines of various animals. On the other hand, they had more money available this time around. You could be forgiven for questioning whether or not purchasing a yacht is worth spending such a significant amount of money on. In light of everything that has been presented to us in this movie, it is only appropriate that we hear from Peter Larson, the chief executive officer of Larson and possibly the most knowledgeable yachting expert in the world. He believes that the building of Azam contributed to the maintenance of employment for around 4,000 households over the course of 6 million hours of labor. Therefore, as a result of the creation of employment opportunities brought about by the maintenance of these vessels in good condition. That's it for today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We post videos every week, so stay notified. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the following video.